Okay, okay, we back with another video. I'm coming to you today. Uh, I done got out of work this, this evening. Uh, I hope you all had a beautiful and lovely day today. We done had this storm, this Delta storm, and I hope everybody's all right. The family's doing well. Um, this is another day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So, I'm coming to you today with purpose. What are our purpose? What are God plans for us? So, I'm going to do a short prayer and we're going to get down to it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come thanking you for another day. It's another day's journey, Lord, and I'm glad about it. You brought us through the storm. In all the rain this morning. Father God, you laid us down last night and our clothes was in our right mind and woke us up this morning with a peace spirit in our right mind. Father God, we ask you to come and bless the people that's in the nursing home. We hear so much about it. They can't go nowhere and be locked down. And, you know, we've got COVID 19. talk a little bit about our purpose for being here. We all got a purpose. But I had this song in my spirit all day today. <clears throat> I just love y'all, them old hymns. I just love them. When I was a little girl, they say, I, I need the Long, so I come to let's look up and get some idea of what our purpose is that God purposes for us. It's a unity in Christ, unity in the body of Christ. Now, now let's talk a little bit about God purpose according to God everlasting loving plan. He directs, carries out, and Sustain us our salvation. He do that. Not us. It's him. The importance of that is when we respond to Christ's love by trusting in his purpose becomes our mission having you committed yourself fully to God's purpose. How we fully committed ourselves to his purpose. Have you commit yourself to God's purpose? It says, nothing can happen without God. Not nothing. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, let's go to, well, we're going to, I'll just say, read Psalms 57 and 2. And it says, carry out to the, cry out to the most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me and you. This is the key in understanding God's purpose for your life and mine. God has numbered your days and my days. And we will fulfill every purpose he has for you. We want that. Our days is numbered. But he going to fulfill the purpose that he has for us. We don't want to miss out on our calling. We some of us call it our calling, our purpose for us. We, we, we want to fulfill that before he come and get us. Okay. For whosoever shall do the will of God. The same is my sister, my brother, my mother, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that ye may prove what is, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. <laughs> Not our own mind. God placed all that. He does all that. We want to be the renewal of the mind. God do that. Okay, while there is pressure from society to succeed and meeting a certain standard, society is the world. They want us to act like the world. They put that pressure on us to be in, we in the world, but we can't act like the world. But they want us to act like they act. That's, that's what they, 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 they want us to do. Want us to meet their standard that the world hold us to. They, the world want to hold us to a standard that ungodly, I put it that way, anything that ungodly, the world want to hold us to that. They want to just tie us down to that. But that, that ain't what God wants for us. It said, through God and the calling his, he placed on our lives, we are able to achieve what he wants for us in our lives. Just let him use you. That's all. Don't be like the world. Because we ain't placed in the world to be like the world. We placed in the world to be like God. So people can see him through us. It is a lot easier to follow God's plan and act in a way that honors him when you have friends around you that encourage you in your walk with the Lord. Seek out a committee at the church that holds you accountable to be able to give you godly counseling. So when you do wrong, you want to be belongs to a church or a committee to people that hold you accountable for when you do wrong. So they can counsel you the God way. You hear people all the time, get in the word, read the word. You know, what would God do? Pray about it, baby. Do this. You need to surround yourself with them kind of people. To guide you. To know when you do wrong. To put you, steer you back on the right track. Okay, Romans 8 and 28. Proverbs 19 and 21. Please read. Many are the plans in the mind of a man. But it is the purpose of the plan of the Lord that will stand. We got many plans to do a whole lot of things. But the plan of the Lord is what's going to stand. So, and I just read you a little bit of that because it's just in my soul.
spirit to read that. So, I did have another one. But we ain't gonna we, we ain't gonna read it right now. Cause I don't wanna be all night this time for real. Um but I only just come to say that the plan that God have for you, we need to be doing his will, not our will. We should let our light shine where men can see our good work and know that this is the will of God. Your light should always shine. Just like the light up here shining, you should have a light on you that people see it. See God on you. When they say, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Yeah, you should have a light that shines on a hill, way out on a hill. If you out so far out, your light should be able to shine where people can see your light. And when they see that light, they see low. All on my job, I'm going to let it shine. should be on your job. All in my home, I'm going to let it shine. People in your home, your children, your siblings, anybody should be able to see that light in your home. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. They see Jesus on you. I encourage you to stay in the Word. Many are called, but few are chosen. We have many talents. It ain't everybody's job or talent or the calling to be a teacher. It ain't everybody's talent or calling to sing in the choir. It ain't everybody's talent or calling to play instrument music. It, I have heard a lot of Music playing. Music sounds good to my ear. I done heard so many people playing that everybody can't play music, y'all. Some people just be. I could do that too. Do, 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 do. Or down, 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 down. You know, it ain't for everybody. Music just sounds good to you. If it sounds good to your soul, it should be able to sound good to somebody else. And then you know it's acceptable to the Lord. People always say, well, well, I ain't doing this. I'm, I'm doing this to the Lord. But your talent, and it made room for you. God had already made room for that. And whatever your talent and calling is, it's easy. Because the, the way I already have been playing for you. I mean, no matter what you do, every job, I'm sorry, ain't for everybody. If you get on a job that you love, that job going to make room for you. You're going to be happy, and everybody around you going to be happy. That's like I, I use school teachers for an example. Everybody ain't made to teach children. That's a fact. If God had, that was one of your talent, one of your purpose to do that, It'll come easy, and these children will respect and honor that. Every time your child, your child going to love the teacher. They're going to love to go to school. They're going to love, the teacher going to love the children. It's going to come easy. Everybody in the class is going to have A's. And if they, if they don't, she going to make sure they get, or either he going to make sure they got A's and B. It ain't everybody can't be a teacher. Everybody can't be a principal. Everybody can't work in a nursing home. 
Everybody can't be a doctor or a lawyer. Whatever your purpose is and your calling is, it's going to make room for you. And it's going to come easy. My, I know one of my purposes is, is talking. I could do that all day and all night. May not pray. I don't. I be talking about something sometimes. Sometimes I get all beat. You know. Hey, you know I'm human. <laughs> but uh, I love people. I love to talk. I love to laugh. I love to sing. Might not can sing too well, but I love it. It gets in my spirit. I ain't the best of singer, but I sure ain't the worst. I done heard it worse. But if that ain't your calling and you know you can't sing, it ain't no need to get in the choir. Because a choir is not a place for a person that want to just want to be seen. Because you, we need urchins in church. We need mothers. We need people that cook. We need all kinds of things. Everybody don't have to sing. That's the same way about mothers. Everybody uh, can't be a mother. Now we got young mothers. A mother is just a mother. A mother, she take a child and hold a child when the child is crying or the child is sad. That's a mother for you. You in the church, it don't make a difference how old you is. If you love people and you can, people can come to you when they hurt and they in, they in need, that's what a mother is for. We always say the older people is your mother, but you actually have some good young mothers too. We in the new church age now. We ain't back in the old church where everybody on, on the motherboard is is old person. A mother is just what it is, a loving, caring person. Everybody can't be deacons, I'm sorry. God ain't known everybody to be a deacon. Some people just want to be on the deacon so they can lead, they can do this and that, so they can be next to the pastor. I'm sorry, everybody ain't equipped to be a deacon because they don't know how. God ain't made everybody to be one. Don't feel bad because that ain't your calling. Just get in your purpose and your calling, and it's going to come easy to you. Too much bigger than the church. Too much bigger than the, in the church house. Um, I didn't want to get on that, but uh, it, 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 it is. We need to be the most loving people. People, when we come together with the body of Christ, we should be the most loving, caring, compassionate people that there is. When people come in that building that they lost, they should be able to see the light from the door. That no, this is where I need to be. It ain't no big eyes and little you because they come up in there. I don't care how they look or what they got on. They need. They coming in there for a reason. God done sent them in there. Don't let them go back out the same way they came in. Get out of these cliques. We don't need these cliques. We need somebody that gonna love everybody and treat everybody the same. I know you got your friends. I know you got your buddy buddies. But the lost souls is hurting because we too busy in the cliques and we got our, our clan we want to hang with. It ain't about that. It's all about saving somebody else, loving somebody else. These people already know you love them. We got to do better when the, when the Lord allowed this, this, this place of worship to open back up. We can't go back in there and be the same. We got to be different. Whatever our purpose and our calling for, we got to walk in it. This is the time now that the Lord has sought us off where we by ourselves, one-on-one -on -one with him, go into a fast. I know I need one because I can stand to go in the fast and, 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 and drink water or or uh, crackles or uh, uh, high yellow. I can, I can stand that. I'm trying to get off to myself where I can learn God for myself. I can learn something about me that I can do better, that I can have something to take back. So when once he opened up the place of worship, I don't want it to be no faking and shaking me nowhere. I just want it to be him and the spirit of the Lord just fall down. We all should be on one of accord. When he allows us to come back to the place of worship, we should have a renewal mind. We shouldn't be that same person anymore. We should be on fire. For real, y'all. Not to play. Not go up in there trying to be over something and be over somebody. If God wanted all that to happen, he would have never had a pastor of a church to be over you. Pray much for our pastor, his family. 
pray good that God will humble them and cover him under the blood of him and his whole family where he could be the best he could be. Where he won't have to fight so many different spirits and fight all these spirits out. We all got a calling and a purpose. If we come together and put all that, 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 that together, I need you. You need me. We all are a part of God's body. We should all stand together, be agree with each other. We all are part of God's body. Let's draw sinners in, save. Let, let's try to draw them in where we can help save their soul. God is counting on us. Where I can't sing, I can be the best usher it is so I can welcome them in the door. Where I, am, where I might not be a urchin, I could be the best mother it is for someone looking for a mother of love. We all got a purpose, y'all. Let's go back and do better. God, this time we got not, spend it in the Word. Spend it with God. When you get off work, pray at work. Pray when you get off work. Pray before you go to work. Pray before you go to school. Anything that you're doing, just pray and ask God to guide me in my purpose and my calling. That way, we'll all be on one accord. And our light will shine like this light. Sinners will gonna come to Christ because they're going to want what you got. It's all about the kingdom. It's all about bringing someone to Christ. So we can all make it to the kingdom. You don't listen to nothing else I say. Listen to this. We all was born for a reason. We all got a calling or a talent. Some of us got plenty of talent. Plenty. But we shouldn't get big head. We should share what God got and use them to the best of our knowledge. For God. Not for our own self or think we bigger than anybody because we got them. Because just like he give it, he can take it away. If you don't use it, he will give it to somebody else. He don't need us. We need him. But if we allow him to use us, y'all, he'll do it. I tell him all the time, I just want to be used by you. Whatever it is, let me walk in it and know I'm walking in it. And let it be to save somebody, to help somebody, some lost person. I don't give a testimony just to be giving a testimony about my life. I don't come out of it. I made it. I made it, y'all. So I could be able to tell some young boy, young girl, young man, some woman, single woman, married woman, Hold on. If I can come through that mess I've been through, oh, you can come through it too. Ain't nothing too hard for God. At the time you're going through trials and tribulations, it seems hard. Seems like it's nobody care. But God care. And if he can bring me out, and I'm sitting here looking this good, y'all, just, just a sense of humor now, but looking this good, he can do anybody. Y'all ain't heard the head of testimony that I could tell you all, that I got for you all. Just keep on watching these videos. You know my life story. For whatever reason it may be. I got stories. We all got them. I'm just woman used enough to tell mine because that's my past and looking back on my past I don't do I look forward because I know there's a blessing in store for me so if you don't never take nothing else that I say we all are here for a purpose and for a reason walk in your calling what it be
cheering somebody up? Will it be complimenting somebody? Will it be a servant to somebody, waiting on somebody? Do y'all know that's a calling? All that is a purpose. People that I can't reach, somebody else will reach. You can't reach everybody. It's for somebody else to reach somebody too. But you want to be able that if people look at you, you be like a light shining on a hill. You be way out there and, and, you, and you can see that light. You want people to see Christ through you. So you know that that ain't you. And you know that light look, light looks so good. I don't want them to see nothing about me. I want it all to be about him. Now, y'all, I didn't come to stay long, so I am going to cut this out, and I want to end this with that God loves you. He loves us unconditional, no matter what we do, what we go through, or who we are. I love you, too. If you want to know anything, or you want to expound on anything, or you want to talk about anything, or you done read something that I haven't read, put it in the comment. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified when I drop another video, hit the bell if you haven't already done so. So when I post another video, you, it get, it, you'll be in contact that I don't put something on there. I don't know what it's about, but she's talking about something. So you know what, y'all? I love you. God loves you best.